Rule number one. Money is a game. True money is a game. This implies that there are money rules, and if you follow the rules, you will advance. In other words, you will gain more money if you follow the laws of the market. Now that we've had your attention, you're undoubtedly wondering. So all I have to do to get more money is play by the rules? Yes, that's the solution. It would help if you acted in a specific manner to achieve a particular result. It's elementary science. Everything has a formula, except experience, which can only be acquired via failure. What I'm trying to argue is that there are no boundaries if you understand how money functions, why it goes in particular directions, and the fundamental laws that underpin our financial system. Many individuals approach the topic of money as if it were some deep, difficult to understand science, though it isn't, since most people associate it negatively. Their strategy is gravely flawed. They were raised in families who had strong negative connections with wealth and the wealthy. They are exposed to phrases like money is wicked, wealthy people are selfish, money is the source of all evil, and occasionally even, money is the hand of the devil. I need you to comprehend this before we move on to the subsequent steps. Money is a neutral concept that serves only as a tool. The world as we know it wouldn't exist if not for money. Number 2. Patience Having patience is crucial for several reasons. First, you'll probably earn more money if you're patient. There is a well-known proverb that states, If you chase money, it runs. Making money makes a significant difference. Investments allow for the creation of money itself. When you reach that stage of life, you begin to expand like never before, and compound interests, beneficial effects may kick in. You should also be aware that compounding can go both up and down. Simply said, you will win more quickly the more you win. You lose weight more quickly the more you lose. Number 3. Think outside the box. As a result, certain industries are destroyed when the coronavirus appears out of nowhere. The consensus is that areas like tourism, healthcare, and others are not the best to consider when establishing a new business. Or are they? Let me explain. Everyone is currently looking for a firm that is prospering. What about the traditional industries? We're talking about Zoom, Uber, the financial sector, marketing, and social media. They require a replacement or an advancement to survive the upcoming pandemic. Play your own game rather than imitate what others are doing. Look for innovation in impacted industries. Additionally, you'll have far more area to maneuver and less competition as a result. The next Google, Tesla, and Amazon will all be created in the same way. Number 4. Think in advance. Because they are concerned that they won't be able to achieve their financial objectives, the majority of people don't set any. In any case, allow me to submit a query. How are you going to achieve goals if you don't have any? Goal setting and achievement are incredibly exciting and rewarding. What's the sense of working so hard if you aren't making any money and are merely drifting around with no real purpose? To set yourself up for success, you first need to have a purpose, and then some goals.
These are the actions you should take next. Goals should be broken down into smaller targets. If you're unsure of your next step, just consider the first action that makes the most sense to go in the direction of your objective and take it right away. Making smart financial decisions can also enable you to save more money and prevent overspending. Setting spending restrictions can help you maintain self-discipline, and eventually, you should start generating more income. Number 5. People that advise you to avoid debt are ignorant of what they are talking about. Don't get me wrong, there are many different kinds of debt. I'm not referring to debts like credit cards, student loans, or unaffordable mortgages. You must be knowledgeable and confident in your ability to make timely repayments if you want to use debt constructively. I'm referring to business loans, which are used to start or finance a business. Don't expect it to be simple. It takes a lot of time. I've heard far too many people describe debt as some terrifying monster you must avoid. Credit cards improve your credit score. Thus, they are beneficial. Additionally, if you manage your debt well, you can easily benefit greatly in the initial months. Just be extremely cautious because if you make mistakes, you might always regret them. Debt may be a lethal weapon, but only if you know how to use it. The implications of improper debt management might land you in a lot of problems. Therefore, use caution when dealing with loans and ensure that you have a repayment strategy and fallback plan in case Plan A doesn't work. Number 6. Count your cash. If there's something people learn during periods of the financial crisis, it is that cash is king, and it will forever be. When times are good, you always hear people talk about not keeping any cash in the bank. People will tell you that it is collecting dust and just losing value due to inflation. Well, I'm here to tell you that saving is far more important than investing, especially at the beginning of your financial journey. I see too many young people lose everything because they gamble their money on investment schemes that they don't even understand. You'll require some cash when a crisis arises, like a coronavirus pandemic. No matter if you run your own business or work in an office, you should always have some extra cash on hand for major situations only. That kind of money may save you from going bankrupt and from ending yourself homeless if you lost your work, as millions and millions of others are currently experiencing. Number 7. Strategy opens all opportunities. There are some things we just take for granted. Questioning everything and constantly looking for what you're lacking is the key to excellent strategic thinking because that's what normally works against you. Stop believing you're always correct and start challenging the heart of your views. Avoid letting your feelings stand in the way of your accomplishment. Be positive and try to see the good in everything. But don't be a fool. You must remember these financial guidelines if you want to have a prosperous 2023. What is the most significant of all of them? I'm done now. I do hope you all enjoyed the film. So please click the thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments section. If you're new to the channel, Wisdom Mentor publishes fantastic educational videos on a variety of subjects every other day.
including finance, entrepreneurship, business, self-improvement, and much more. Therefore, if you're interested, subscribe. With that stated, enjoy your day, everyone, and I'll see you in the following video.